Hi, my name is Caitlin Matika, and I'm presenting you the Great Galveston Hurricane of the 1900s Victims Memorial. What do you think of when you hear the worst hurricane in U.S. history? Most would say Hurricane Katrina, but Hurricane Katrina is far from worse. The Galveston Hurricane killed four times as many people as Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina only killing 1,200 people, while Galveston Hurricane killed anywhere from 6,000 to 12,000 people. Hurricane Katrina didn't even cost the U.S. the most amount of money. That took Hurricane Miami. The Galveston Hurricane hit September 8, 1900, at, coming in at 145 miles an hour, ranging at a Category 4 hurricane. The categories are based off of, yeah, two slides. Okay. The categories are based off of wind speeds, and some include storm surges. The greater the wind speed, the greater the category. The lower the wind speed, the lower the damage. What I want people to take away from this monument is all of those that have died and were not recognized because you, no one ever really knew if their loved ones were safe or weren't safe or if they were just taking a trip or they, no one ever really know what happened to them. Another thing is people need to start taking more precautions because that's what happened with this hurricane. Even though the technology wasn't up to date like it is now, Galveston still got signs and warnings from boats out in the ocean saying bad weather is coming their way and they need to leave and take safety measures and along the Atlantic coast people were complaining of bad weather but no one really listened and went away. Also I would want to recognize the heroes that were trying to save people and all the heroes that weren't successful in trying to save people. Many heroes, even after the storm, were trying to save people but got diseases and from metal and everything from trying to save people. A story that really touched my heart was the story about nuns. I'm Catholic, so it really took me away when I heard that there was a Catholic orphanage consisting of 90 children and the nuns were trying to take care of these these children but when the hurricane hit they weren't quite sure what to do and children were just blowing away like because it took the house down so the nuns were trying to tie themselves down to the children but that turned out to be worse than just letting them fly away because they ended up like hitting each other on the heads and stuff so so this is what my memorial would look like i have a mother and daughter to represent family and how family was so important and i have a cross in the background for the nuns in the orphanage that died and for all that was praying for their family to come back. The cross says millions of lives were changed in one day by a cruel and wasteful storm. And the mother would, the cross would be about 15.7 feet high. The mother will be anywhere from 8 to 10 feet high and the child will be anywhere from six to eight feet high. Where I want to put the memorial is um, on West Potomac Park, Ohio Drive Southwest, and West Basin Drive. So an overview would be right here, and it would be right here on the side view. The cost of building this memorial will be about 
for the 15 foot statue would be anywhere from 300,000 to 500,000 dollars. But on site preparations and other expenses will be anywhere from 500,000 to 700,000 dollars, which will be a total cost of 1.2 million dollars to 1.5 million dollars. Any questions? Yeah, um, let's talk a little bit about um, the city of Galveston after 1900. Um, is any idea of uh, how long it took them to, to rebuild their town? It took them about five years just to start building the houses up again, but it took around ten years just to get the economy running again. Now, when you were talking about people that um, were injured or killed during the storm, you had a, a wide range. Um, what, why is there such a large range in the, the projected number of lives? I mean, did they not find everyone? or? No, well, some people were traveling, and they really never had anybody identify the bodies. They had 6,000 bodies on records, but... People were washed away in the oceans and never found. So scientists think 12,000 would be the maximum, but it's but 6,000 is the bare minimum. Okay. So this it's probably wasn't the first hurricane that ever hit the town. No, but it was the worst. Definitely the biggest, right? Yeah. So. Um, You're right. Um, <clears throat> what were some of that? I mean, in the year 1900, you talked a little bit about the technological differences. Um, today, do you know how the city of Galveston prepares for the hurricanes? Um, they have built a levee, a 17 foot levee, because the Galveston hurricane had a 15.7 storm surge, and a storm surge is when like a big wave comes onto land and they built a big levee to kind of control the waves a little bit. And they've also like restructured their houses a little better like they would today. So they built them, they built them stronger? Or yeah. They built them higher? Or? They've done both. Okay. Right. thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. you. Hit the